Okay, so here is a question that has uh, been asked by a student for assistance. And this question is from the topic gradients of uh, equations of a uh, gradient and equation of straight line, which you covered in form two. Uh, so the question says the equation of the base of an isosceles triangle ABC is y is equals to minus two, and the equation of one of its side is y plus 2x is equals to 4. If the coordinates of a are minus 1, 6, find the coordinates of b and c, hence find the equation of the remaining side. Uh, so there are a few things that you need to know in this case. What is an isosceles triangle? This is an isosceles triangle whose, uh, which has two sides equal, whose side, two sides are equal. Uh, uh, or the base angles are equal, those as that, that's an isosceles triangle. And to be able to answer this, we can make a sketch to guide us on how to go about it. So this is an isosceles triangle. So it means that side is equal to that. You can see here that we have been told that y, one of the equation is y is, uh, is equal to minus 2. So, and we have been given also the coordinates of A are minus 1 and 6. What this tells us is that A does not lie in this equation. So, this must be our B and this is our C. So, we can say this is an equation whose, uh, the BC is a line whose equation is Y is equal to minus 2. So you can should be able to deduce that from the information given. Another equation that we have been given is this one. Y is equals to uh, y that is uh, y uh, plus 2x is equals to 4. We can rewrite this equation. We take that 2x to the other side. So we have y is equals to minus 2x. Uh, plus 4. Why am I writing it like that? So that it is in the form of y is equal to mx plus c. When it is in that form, now I know the gradient of that line, which is minus 2, and the y-intercept, or where the that particular line cuts the, uh, the y-axis. Now, looking at our, at our diagram here, you see, when we have a line slanting from uh, right to left, the gradient is always positive. When a line is slanting from a, uh, left to right, the gradient is negative. So what it means is that this, this is the AC is a line whose equation is y is equal to minus 2x plus 4. That is also another important part that you should always be able to uh, to deduce from the information. Now, so to start now solving the equation, uh, what we say is that C is a common point of BC and AC. And therefore, the, the, the two lines here are common point C. We can say uh, Y is equal to minus 2X plus 4. And we have y is equal to minus 2. So the value of y is, uh, is the same. So we can equate minus 2 is equal to minus 2x plus 4. Uh, we can take uh, 2x to the other minus 2x becomes positive is equal to. We take this minus 2 to the other side. It becomes positive. So 2 plus 4, we get 6. So we get divide by 2, we divide by 2, we get our x is equals to 3. So in this case, we can say the value of x is 3. And you see, c lies on the line y is equals to minus 2. So the value of y is minus 2. And that is how you get the coordinates of, uh, you get the coordinates of c. Now, we come to, to b. Uh, looking at the gradient, you see the, the slanting of the two sides of the isosceles triangle are equal. And we have the gradient here is minus 2. So it means the gradient here should be equals to 2. Uh, that is a positive. They are equal in magnitude, but so this is opposite of that. 
and therefore since uh, if we say this is uh, x1 and y1 we can be able to, using the gradient we can get the equation of a b so we can say y minus uh, that is uh, y1 minus 6 you divide by x1 minus this will be minus minus 1 so it becomes positive so that should give you 2 uh, which implies that if you cross multiply y1 minus 6 is equal to you multiply this that will give you 2x1 and uh, we have plus 2 that is a uh, when you multiply 2 times x1 plus 1 we take 6 to the other side so you'll be left with y1 is equals to 6 minus 6 becomes positive so you have 2x1 uh, that will be 6 plus uh, 2 and that will gi give us uh, 2 so actually the equation of the line AB then is equals to 2x plus 2 that is the equation of uh, uh, is it two? No, here we, we have made a mistake. I think uh, here sh because six has become positive, then what it means it is six plus two that is eight. So here it is eight. So so we can say this is the equation of a b, which is this one. Now, with the equation, we can be already we know that the value of y here is 2 because b rise on the line y is equal to minus 2. So, if you substitute minus 2 is equal to uh, 2x, uh, that is 2x plus 8. We take 8 to the other side, we have 2x is equal to uh, this will be minus 10 because this will change to negative. So minus 2 minus 8 is minus 10. And we divide both sides by 2. So it means our x is equal to minus 5. That is, our x is minus 5 when uh, y is minus 2. And therefore, uh, we get the coordinates of b are minus 5. And our, our y is minus 2. So that is how you work out that. I hope you have followed. So you can see the information given. We should be able to deduce uh, other information from what we covered in this topic. Uh, so if you have any question, uh, then uh, you can ask uh, or you can comment below. Uh, if there is something that is not clear, or you can also get in touch with me using the number that I'll provide here below. So for you to be able to see more videos uh, like this ones, you subscribe to my channel, to this channel, by clicking on this uh, icon here. Again, you can click on this bell here. This bell means that uh, every time I upload a video, you'll be able to see it uh that is you'll be able you'll be able to you'll be notified it is all called a notification button uh or you can get in touch with me using this number uh whatsapp that is uh you whatsapp me uh what's uh you can also join my our whatsapp group where we are solving this kind of questions